Kaylee was born um, with what I thought was as a normal child. There was no signs that anything was wrong with her. Um, when Kaylee was about four months old, she began having seizures. Come to find out that Kaylee had a diagnosis of um, a lifelong uh, neurological impairment. Kaylee's condition is, is like taking someone that has epilepsy, cerebral palsy, Parkinson's, autism, and anxiety disorders, and you putting it all into this small 10-year-old child. With her sensory needs, uh, I, I think that her needs and, and we believe that her needs are almost fully met when she's in the water. She's completely calm and, and happy, and she can be completely free. We, we had known about the Make-A-Wish Foundation for, for many years, and uh, people had recommended that we contact them, but we were trying to figure out what, you know, obviously Kaylee being nonverbal, she, she can't make a wish, she can't wish to go to Disney World, and, and we thought, what, you know, what really brings joy to Kaylee? And the, and the one thing we know for sure that brings joy to Kaylee is being in water. So Kaylee had been granted a wish, uh, which was to be on the receiving end of a swimming pool for her therapy. But before that swimming pool could arrive, the backyard had to be cleared. It had concrete and tree stumps, and the, the land needed to be leveled so the pool could come in. We just try to do as much as we can ourselves, but between each of us having two full-time jobs and a combined family of seven children, and just all of the, with Kaylee, you know, all of the management of doctors and therapies and all of these things that she does, our weekends are really just taken up with trying to catch up on the chores that we can't get to during the week. My uh, small group leader recommended that we, we involve the Helping Hands group. The Helping Hands Surf Team is a, a group of skilled artisans, plumbers, electricians, carpenters, landscapers. They can use skilled trades, they can use people that, that just have a good strong back or have the desire to help the community. So we wound up having a lot of folks over uh, really blew me away the amount of people that showed up and the amount of work that we got done and I kind of thought that that was the end of it but as it turns out the Helping Hands group really wanted to do more that really transformed our yard into a place that we really couldn't use in the past to a place where we could not only have Kaylee uh, play and enjoy herself but also other families who were limited with what they could do and you know it's a place where they can just come and have a great time. There's something very humble about it and you just feel so honored that these people that don't even know your family, they don't even know your story, have volunteered to come and whether it's power washing a fence or digging a hole or relocating rocks that they've done this because they want to serve but you learn to graciously accept what people do and then you get motivated to go do something yourself and you in return then want to serve. And I know if Kaylee could say the words, she would say thank you. And instead she smiles and she shows the light of Jesus. And I think that's Kaylee's way of letting people know that I know what you've done for me and I appreciate what you've done for me. Stories like this, testimonies like this, the gospel moving in our community cannot be accomplished without each individual person that makes up the church we call Faith Bridge. So no matter what gifts you have, no matter what skill set you have, no matter what amounts of time you have to offer, there is always a place to plug in here at Faith Bridge. We will find you that, that serve team to connect with and to serve with.